Hello friend, today we'll discuss about the liquid line sizing calculation. How we size a line, how we determine a size of liquid line for a given flow rate. <coughs> Let's say we need to calculate the size of a pipeline to carry a liquid flow rate of uh, uh, 100 meter cube per hour so let's say this is a flow rate required fluid and let's say it's a water so density is 1000 kg per meter cube okay and our this pressure is p1 is inlet pressure let's say inlet pressure is 10 bar and p2 is outlet pressure which is this one so let's say p2 is required p2 we can say required p2 is 9 bar or 9.5 bar so that means available delta p is how much 10 minus 9.5 bar 0.5 bar means we are allowed to drop only 0.5 bar pressure drop due to friction in the pipeline so we have to select the pipe size line size by doing the calculation in such a way that the pressure drops would not go beyond 0.5 bar in entire length of the given pipeline so there is a two criteria to size a liquid liquid line or a two phase line or a gas line one is the pressure drop criteria And the second is velocity, fluid velocity inside the pipeline. So which we limit normally between um, uh, 1.5 to around 4.5 meter per second for a continuous flow. So we uh, normally, if we use this formula like say Q equal to VA, so we can roughly estimate a, first we need to use this formula to roughly estimate a pi uh, line size. So Q is our 100 meter cube per hour we have to convert into seconds, so we will divide it 3600, so it becomes meter cube per second equal to V into a. Now we have to roughly size uh, uh, get the line size first. So let's say we take velocity 2.5 meter per second and A is uh, this one. So this is 2.5 multiplied by we can do it pi by 4 into d square. So this is 1 upon 36 here. So, uh, so you can do like this. So d square equal to 4 upon 36 uh, into one upon 2.5 and into one upon three uh, pi one upon sorry one upon pi so we'll get value that's the nine time so you can say c is uh, zero this is ten so we'll get d value from here like um, roughly we'll take a square root of one by nine into ten by twenty five into one upon pi so this will be our first estimate of the id this id of a pipe now using this id what we'll do we'll use the darcy formula to calculate the pressure drop so rho f l v square upon 2d so we know rho which is 1000 we know l which is equivalent length and this v is the velocity and d is the diameter we calculated so velocity we want to keep 
keep wire which we use 2.5 meter per second so we can use 2.5 now the major criteria is to know the f value which is the moody friction factor moody friction factor so if our reynold number we will calculate the reynold number rho v d by mu if it's less than 2000 that means it's a laminar flows then at that time uh, this f is 64 by nre reynold number so we can get directly friction factor if our reynold number which is nre is greater than 4000 that means it's a turbulent flow so the at that time this formula is not valid we have to use a moody friction factor chart moody friction factor chart which is um, Reynolds number versus E by D E is the roughness factor of piping material and D is the ID of 5 which we have selected here first so based on that we will get the value of f so from here if we know e by d and we know roughness factor this e this is roughness factor of pipe material like carbon steel or some other GRP some of that so we have these values from handbook also or internet also you can see and D we assume already which is this one and then and this NRE we also can calculate by using this formula so then once we got this value the friction factor so we will calculate the delta P if our delta P is less than 0.5 bar which is allowable that means our selected size which we assumed here um, by this one which we calculate this one is okay if let's say our delta p calculated is coming more than 0.5 bar that means we have to increase the pipe size so whatever size we are getting here we have to increase the size let's say here we are getting 0.75 inches then we will take uh, next size 1 inch and then we will repeat the calculation till our delta p is less than allowable delta p across a pipeline so this way we do the liquid pipeline sizing so hopefully in next video i will tell you two phase and three uh, and uh, gas pipe sizing thanks for watching my youtube channel bye bye